Professor Samantha Elwood, thank you so much for agreeing to be interviewed by us today. Um, it would be remiss of me not to mention, um, are you aware of, on your Wikipedia page, there says something about how your work with the biocycle social model, that's given academic uh, credibility to David Cameron's government's disability crackdown? Um, the answer is no. I didn't know this was on the uh, wik my Wikipedia page, and I shall try to see that it's taken off, right. because that is a gross exaggeration of a link between my basic psychosocial research, which is to help people with disabilities. Yeah. The, the, the whole point of the work that I did in the what the early 1990s mm. was to actually develop a test which is no longer used now whereby one looked at one's person's mental condition mm. within a wider context mm. and and used questions that they were able to answer which we had tested with a panel of more than a hundred uh, uh, people mm. and where we had tested in a um, a, a, a controlled trial of 16,000 mm -hmm. participants, voluntary participants who had disabilities, and we had checked that these were the sort of issues that one needed to ask. Lack of, 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 of concentration, failures in cognition, swings in mood, sleeplessness. Mm. These were the things that were important. Whether or not you can walk up and down stairs is really irrelevant to the assessment of, um, of psychiatric disability, if I could use that phrase. Um, to extrapolate from that, because the government has happened to use some of the uh, models that we've proposed for their purpose mm. in assessing the extent of someone's disability, I think that's a gross misrepresentation of my work. Mm. And I absolutely reject that. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that the government has misrepresented uh, statistics, such yes. as re most recently mm. in terms of the seven-day NHS. Yes. Um, some of the papers of that have been completely debunked and discredited. Yeah. In the social media age, yeah. it's almost as if journalistic credibility is not Indeed. Um, required. It's no longer a prerequisite. Yeah. However, the reputational damage that can happen to oh. people's careers can still be catastrophic. Um, and the only reason that I have to ask is because I'm kind of, we're fairly active in terms of against disability cuts, yeah. the members of the disability cuts group yeah. on Facebook. Um, so we felt that it was relevant to bring up. Oh, I think it is. And not only that, I'm glad of the opportunity. I didn't know you would be doing this. I'm glad of the opportunity.